And then that building that over there, the middle part, mm -hmm. was an old garage. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and uh, so then we fixed that up as wow. the meditation hall. We used that for many years wow. until we were able to wow. kind of create something. something yeah, new. beautiful. So <laughs> inspiring. Yeah. yeah, I love the buildings and I mean the architecture and just... Yeah, I, it's uh, the grounds here. I mean, it's, it's exquisite. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's exquisite. Yeah. We put a lot of attention into just trying to create a space that, yeah. that when people come, they uh, feel settled. Yeah. Because that's that's the. Uh, oh, okay. Wow! Thank you. Ah. Okay. It's heavy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Takes yeah, back for yeah. Friends, but, great. Yeah, <laughs> great. yeah. One of my yeah, friends, no, she's an artist. She's ninety year old and she fell, and that's why I got concerned. Oh. So wait to bring to her later. Yes, <laughs> to cheer her that's, up. That's, <laughs> it's like uh, nice. Like, uh, bless food. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. Hopefully, <laughs> so good because so recently yeah. her friend, ninety nine year old, passed away. She about oh. to retire, become. <clears throat> she was an art teacher in Ukiah. She passed uh -huh. away. She told me, "Oh, I'm too tired. I want to retire." And then she fell and passed away. She oh. was about to turn 100 in oh, the, um, September. So I was like, look forward to celebrating her birthday. But that's why I was sad. And, uh, so yes, I couldn't go yes, visit her because she introduced this. you her friend that uh, she took care of her mom and her mom passed away at 99. So oh. yeah, that's the house of custody. <coughs> oh, check up on her. I was calling her, but she didn't answer. Yeah, so. It's good to look after these old people exactly um, yeah, it's especially now more than ever yeah <laughs> because my, gra my nanny and my grandmother used to take me to temple <laughs> that's why i love uh, it in vietnam okay. so i get inspired by temple and okay. i used to where did you grow up in vietnam, Nha in vietnam until i was five and then we came oh, here okay. because of the war <laughs> yes, yes. yeah so <clears throat> and then i bought a house my second house that i bought was in um, near a buddhist temple too a buddhist temple lived right near, near my house that monk would hike up to my property Oh. And I would give, they would live in little caverns, so I would mm -hmm. give them, um, you know, stuff to build their house. Like when I remodel, I give them oh, old material, right. and they would build little cabins and stuff. Yeah. Very inspiring. Have you gone to Tim San Buddhist Temple, Summit Row, in Los Gano? No. no yeah, no, yeah. No, no. Kim San, yeah. It's great. Yeah. <coughs> it's similar. Good things about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love different temples. Right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, Very yeah. inspiring. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how many monk total here? Right now we've got twelve monks wow. and then three novices uh -huh. and three postulants in white. Postulant. So because what we do is um, there's like a long tra training period yeah. for people so that if they're interested they'll come and stay as lay people and then if they want to pursue monastic life uh -huh. and they can uh, take on a, a t white and keeping a certain level of precepts oh. and part of the training start fitting into the yeah. community wow. and then after a year they can take novice training uh -huh. uh, for another year depending as more or less oh, and wow. then uh, if they can ordain as, as full, full monks yeah how long does it take to <coughs> ordain has full monk your full monk right because yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. How long? How, how long? Does it take yeah. to, to get ordained. Or yeah, get ordained. Well, it depends on the person. Some oh. people take forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's one. There's one. There's one of the laymen who's on the on the the, the, the lay crew that's here. Uh -huh. He's been coming for years, and he keeps sort of he keeps getting excited and then backing out and getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to get him this year. <laughs> <laughs> Get that commitment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. So <laughs> they live awesome. in their cabin. Up to that. Yes, we have individual cabins that are scattered through the wow, forest. Oh, really? wow. Yeah, we've got 300 acres of land here. Yeah. Um, so that, and you can see, this is the flat spot. It's been a, you know, an interesting. <clears throat> A lot of work to, yeah. to yeah. create a, sure. a, a space that we yeah. could Imagine. have access and flat enough to build, and and uh, but we've done. It. And, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's a really uh, um, the sense of, of solitude because in our in our tradition from Thailand, oh, Thailand. then the uh, <coughs> it is a forest tradition, and it's, oh. it's forest tradition is focused on. 
mostly meditation and then the simplicity of lifestyle. Oh, wow. And and so that that was our that was my teacher and, mm. and that was what what inspired me and others <coughs> of my kind of generation to, sure. to go yeah. and live live there. Oh. At what age did you become a monk? What well, I became you? a monk when I was 24. Oh, wow, young. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and what did you decide to become a monk? What inspired you to become a monk? Well, I didn't get be inspired to become a monk. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like a path. There, it was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, it was sort of like I was interested in, as m m many people in those days, late 60s, mm -hmm. uh. interested in, you know, Eastern spirituality, mm -hmm. you know, and sort of meditation, med training of some sort. And then uh, and experimenting with all sorts of things, and, uh, and but more and more realizing, gosh, you know, if this mind isn't trained, then yeah. it's kind of, it's, this is hopeless. <laughs> so then I was I, I was traveling, and I'd been around many many countries, and I got to so I go, okay, our Buddhism really seems to make sense. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And then I showed up in Thailand. I didn't even. I showed up in Thailand, mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't even know that Thailand was a Buddhist country. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I get there, and then of course it's 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 a Buddhist country, and so wow. Well, oh. And the most obvious influence is the is the temples and the monasteries. Mm. Yeah. So, well, I better see if I can figure out what they're doing. Right. Oh. And so then I just. Slowly started, and of course, I wanted to learn about meditation. Yeah. You go to the monastery mm. to learn meditation, so, and Thailand is very welcoming. Mm. They're very open and warm. Yeah, so then, I love it. Yeah. So then I, I was staying at a temple, and oh. and then they, uh, I'm staying and meditating and practicing and learning, and then one of the monks sort of said, "Oh, are you going to ordain?" Mm -hmm. I said, <laughs> No, because in my idea, of if like to ordain as a monk, then you've got to live the rest of your life as a monk. I said, huh. oh. I, said I don't think I could live the rest of my life like as a monk. Right. Okay. And he said, huh. and he looked at me really puzzled and said, "Well, that isn't. You no, know, in Thailand, it's quite ordinary to take a temporary ordination for huh. three or four months." Hmm. So oh. I said, oh, three or four months, I could do that. Here you are, 25 years. Here, that, well, here I am, actually, almost 50 years. 50, later. right, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> because I lived in Thailand as a monk for 23 years. Oh, okay. And you've been and here then, for And I've been here for 25. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, what began as a bit of an experiment for three or four months has turned into a whole life. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Really, thank you for sharing that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. Wow. That. wow. So, how old are you now? You've been. Uh, how old am I now? Oh. Uh, seventy-two. Oh, you look so young, seventy-two, like fifty. <laughs> and I'm surprised you're seventy-two. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This wow. life's it's beautiful. Yeah, I know it's good for you. Yeah, it's it's a, it's, <laughs> it's it's uh, it has its it has its benefits for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the slower pace of lifestyle, I imagine, and less stresses. And yeah. yeah, and it's just that, that sense of, uh, and having uh, the time and the in actual, like, mm, I mean, the culture of the life is to encourage reflection. Mm. Right. Whereas, say, yeah. the culture of life in the world outside is... You've really got to struggle to reflect on what you just sort of tend to be dragged along. Yeah. So that to being able to stop and reflect. Yeah. And investigate. Yeah. It's yeah, really so important. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a constant reminder of myself, reminder for myself. So yeah. Yeah. Time and, and yes. Yeah. You really have to make. You really yeah. have to make the effort to to go against the stream of the the society and the culture. Yeah. And yeah. Kind of the values that are there, and it's not a dismissal of anything. It's just sort of well, what's actually important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <coughs> so I want you to come and stay. Like you said that. Uh, how do I have to schedule an appointment? Or like yeah. you want my bus? Oh yeah. yeah. Could I sign up now? Uh, no, no. Uh, right, right now, this January, February, March, yeah. uh -huh. we're yeah. in our winter retreat okay. period. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So that we don't have any visitors okay. staying. Okay. But once we get to April. Oh, April 1st? Yeah, April 1st. Then, then people okay. can start. And they usually, you know, check um, in. Oh. Uh, take a look at our website. Okay, yeah, take that. And then just sort of see what's expected. And okay. people are expected okay. to fit in and, okay. and uh, help out with, yeah, with everything. I love that. And then, yeah, I love that. Uh, uh, and, then, uh, and then just see, because especially now we're just... Oh. Of course, we're starting to sort of come out from under our rocks of yeah. COVID. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's, it's uh, uh, what kind of policies we'll have then, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Things are changing. Things are oh. changing pretty quickly. And oh. it's, it's opening up quite nicely. Yeah, that's great. But so sometime in April, April 1st? April yeah, any time. Yeah, through oh. April through to oh. end of end of December, then oh, okay. we, we make the place available for people to come and stay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And see, usually people would, yeah, we've got a guest monk who looks, oh. looks after things. Oh. Uh, if you uh, see that room there? Yeah. There is a, um, you see a card with our oh. website contact in Okay. And then also, there's all sorts of uh, publications there. Okay. If you see anything that's interesting, help yourself. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.